Good morning folks, how are you all today? I'm back again with another farm vlogmas. So how are you all enjoying these videos? Are you enjoying them a lot or not so much? <laughs> Always interesting to know. This morning the main lot are fed and now I've got two loads to feed here with this wagon. So the, the bull lot with the new heifers we put in with them yesterday and we've got and the cabin lot too. Put a wee bit of barley in here. Let's keep on right. Yes. Great man too. Well, it wasn't yesterday, it was two days ago. Yesterday I didn't manage to record anything. Apologies. Um, I'm going to try my best to keep up to date with this, but if I miss a couple of days here and there, well, <clears throat> these things happen, so apologies. <laughs> I honestly cannot wait for silage time next year. I just want to get another go in that big aim. It was just starting to go perfectly towards the end of third cut there. No, towards the end of the season, full of third cut and never broke down. Ah, I want it, I want another shot. <laughs> Young calves, fat bullocks. Ten less of these, so they should be easier kept clean. Get the better going shortly and get them all buried right up with some nice clean dry straw for today and then back again tomorrow and bed them again. Aye, aye, aye. I decided to take the long route round today. Usually I'd come up here and reverse round to these lots here, but I just decided to do a loop. The bull lot's been taken out of their pen for bedding. So, here's the feeding. And then I'll get the bedding after this. for this lot here, the cabin lot. There's the heifers with a ball in the back of the parlour. Awaiting bedding. Right, you've been in, now get out. You're in the road. <laughs> Come on now. You just crawled forward there and now you've stopped. Come on. Just get to the road end. Just just get to the road end, then you can sit as long as you like. <laughs> get! Yes. Right, got the minerals and uh, concentrates in my bucket. Pour it in here, a wee drop more silage, and then that'll be that sorted. Shoved through after I fed, they've snapped the string. 
<laughs> so we just put them back in there. So he's about to bed them and I'm about to bed this shed and the the recently calved cows. So yeah, let's get going. That's all the morning jobs done. I'm just in here looking at the calves, checking that everything's alright. The weather's been quite changeable, so I'm just looking for some ammonia just in case. But everything seems to be alright, and now it's time for my lunch. Very brief wash, just one over the windows. That means we'll be able to see a bit better. <laughs> I'm on my way up to connect my pipes up. That's the pump on the tractor and connect it up. Ready to go again. Quite disappointed in my pressure washing job. The windows aren't that clean. Still better than they were, but overall not that brilliant. Especially the left hand window that was the worst window. See? Terrible job. You can see the ground's doing not too bad. It's uh, holding this tractor up just nicely. Happy enough to get some more slurry out. Once again, I'll have a comment asking about a slurry ban in Scotland. There is none. There's no cut-off dates. We're not in a nitrogen vulnerable zone, so essentially we've to spread sensibly when the weather permits or the ground permits and since the ground is permitting we are putting some more out <laughs> we're never getting that big a go at it just wee dribs and drabs here and there hopefully we'll get a right good day or two at it and then that'll be us for the winter right, I'll get this wee pipe snagged on and then that'll be me ready to go, phone the feather and tell him to fire her up. Oh, I'm tired man.
that's that done. Fair pump up here, but slurry is quite watery, so spreads no bother. Let's get some skitter out. Can I get it to vacuum up? So I'll just need to wait a minute and see how he gets on, and then I can get spreading. We're spreading. For a wee minute there, it didn't look like it was happening. It was fair, I couldn't get it vacuumed up for the one thing, then the next thing it was coming. And then just there, uh, then just there, there was a couple of twists in the pipe from last time I was out. These things happen when you're dragging a pipe around the field, it gets a little bit twisted. Then you switch it off and it makes it worse, and then you switch it on again, you try and unravel it. It's usually alright if you roll the pipes back up again. To move to another field. I'll just take that half the dog. She she rips the cans in half. Not needing that to happen and her to cut herself. There you go. Pipes are a joy to work with, but they're also annoying to work with. Amazing when they're going, but when they twist up, they're pain. But driving around the field a wee bit just to get it pulled, just to get it unravelled, and then. Away we go, that's not that big a deal. That was perfect. Sometimes it doesn't work out like that at all. And you have to bugger about and then eventually even unhitch the pipe and unravel it by hand and then rehitch the pipe up. Just, just depends. So here we are spreading again. As you can see, it's quite watery. Hey ho means that it'll be thicker slurry in the tower for when it actually matters and makes a big difference to the ground. And now it's basically rainwater off roofs and uh, yard water. If the sun was out it would be a beautiful day, however it's not, it's just a dull day the new. Just a typical winter's day, no snow yet. It has been around but it keeps melting but it keeps threatening to come back but then it comes mild again. I'm sure before long it'll be cold and it'll stay cold for a wee while. So there might be plenty of snow in the hill over there. Maybe even on the yard. The, I, our yard just gets icy as hell during the winter when it gets right cold. End up sliding about the yard. Dukes of Hazard style with the forklifts, you know. Like Maggie wants the crows that are watching the slurry. Anyway folks, I think that's about as much as I'll be able to record in the daylight for today because this will all I'll be doing and there's not much I can do but show you that and you've seen it all before. I'll just need to cut the video short today. This is about it. <laughs> Cheers guys. We'll see you all next time. This is Drew's Farming Life. I am Drew and this is my Vlogmas special. Cheers guys.